Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony Crafasi, and in this video we're going to be going over the um, test kit instructions for the NutraVal Plasma Kit from Genova Diagnostics. Now this is what the box looks like and as always we want to make sure that we have the correct box. Now this kit and this test is extremely um, useful and it's really a comprehensive nutritional analysis and profile looking at different vitamins, minerals, nutrients as well as overall biochemical um, pathway and function um, functionality. So this is what the box looks like. Make sure that it says plasma as you can see right there on yours so that we have the right test. Okay. First thing we want to make sure that we have the correct stuff in the box. So let's open it up. Now the first thing you're going to have is a styrofoam box. So we're going to pull this guy out of here. All right. And then what you're going to have inside of the rest of this, this cardboard box is some other instructions, which we're going to go over at the end. Okay. So first thing first is that here's the, the top is we're going to see a little label form. Now this label form, these are actually peel off. You can see that I can peel these off. These is where you're going to put your date of birth. Now I recommend filling these out immediately when you get this test kit so that you do not forget. So step one, open this up, fill your date of birth on all of these. Okay. Next thing you're going to have is a um, requisite, uh, a test kit instructions and you're going to have a few things here. So I'm going to pull out all the contents and go all over, over all of it with you. You're going to have a vial sleeve. There's four tubes in this vial. One is going to be looking like a tiger top, a purple, light purple, and a dark blue. This is for blood. You do not need to worry about this. All you have to do is take this to the lab. So we're going to put this right here. Okay. You're also going to have a light brown tube, again, for blood. An empty bag with just an absorbent pad. You're also going to have... <clears throat> three pipettes here. So one, two, three. Again, you do not need these. You're going to put those there. And then you're going to have a yellow tube and a blue tube. And again, you do not need these for your purpose of the test. So just keep those to the side. Then what we're going to have is the important stuff for the kit. Okay. You're going to have one other bag. No, this is the only bag that you actually need to worry about for the kit that we'll go over. And in this bag, which should have been in here, that's okay, I pulled it out originally. What you're going to have is three things, okay? You're going to have a blue top tube that says urine on it. You're also going to have a green top tube, it's clear, nothing's on this, and then you're going to have a pipette. You're going to have these three things inside of a, one of the bags, okay? The only other thing inside of this styrofoam box, nothing else is in here is this ice brick. First step, fill out your information on this, your date of birth. Second step, put this immediately in the freezer. This needs to be frozen for the kit to be properly um, um, set. So you're going to put this in the freezer and we can put this in here for now. So the only thing that you really have to worry about for this test at home is this bag here with these three vials. So we're going to pull these out again. <clears throat> So as we said, you have one blue top with a dark bottle and it says urine on it. You're going to have one green top, clear, nothing's on it, and then you're going to have a pipe pack. And then you're going to have the instruction sheet, okay? And that's all you really need for this portion of the test. Now, there's a couple really important points of, for this test. Four days before you complete this test, um, both urine and blood, you do not want to consume any supplements, so no dietary supplements. So this includes no vitamins, no minerals, no herbs, nothing like that. No vitamin D, no B complex or vitamin B12 shots, injections, anything like that. No vitamin A, vitamin C, etc. Whatever you might be taking, no herbal formulas, four days before the test. In addition, eight hours before the urine test and the blood, we want you to be fasted. Okay, so this is really, really important. So for example, if you are... Um, and we'll go over this uh, in more in detail here. But um, if you have, have scheduled to complete the blood test on Wednesday morning at 8 a.m., you're going to want to complete the urine test at least also 24 hours before that blood test. So if you have the blood test 
scheduled for Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. You want to do, you're going to want to do the urine test on the Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. As soon as you do the urine test, you want to put this in the freezer and you want to ideally freeze this for 24 hours before the blood test. So <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to find a container, a very clean container um, or buy a plastic disposable cup from the store. What you're going to do is you're going to urinate in that container. Then you're going to take this pipette and from the container you're going to pipette the urine into these two tubes. You're going to pipette the urine into both of these. Now you want to make sure that you fill these two tubes up as high as you can to the top. So this blue top one that is dark, you want to fill it up to the 13th or 14th mark here. This green one, fill it up nearly to the top. We want to get as high, uh, uh, as much in here so that we can get best readings. Okay, once these are done, you can place these in the bag and put this in the freezer with the freezer brick. Now, very important, if you wake up, say you wanted to complete these at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, but you wake up at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. on that Tuesday morning, early morning, you can still um, void, uh, so urinate into that cup that you're gonna urinate into and put that cup in the refrigerator. And then that morning, that at 8 a.m. that same morning, you can go back to that cup urinate back into that cup until it's full and then pipe it from that cup so that we are getting the best reading okay so even if you wake up in the in the middle of the night to urinate that is fine make sure you urinate in the cup put it in the refrigerator at 8 a.m the next morning when you're supposed to pipe it make sure you finish your urine into that cup so that we get two readings basically it's okay to overlap that sample pipe it from that cup into these once these are done, you're going to put this inside the bag and as we said, put this in the freezer immediately. That is pretty much all you need for the NutraVal on your end. Now, we have some instructions here as well that they'll say NutraVal plasma amino acids. So in case you get stuck or have any questions, you can always consult the instructions. Now, this is, these, there are a couple additional important points. The first one is, <clears throat> 24 hours before the test, make sure that you're eating the normal diet that you're eating. So, don't overeat or overconsume. So, you know, 24 hours before the test, make sure that you're not eating a whole p uh, pizza if that's not normally what you do, okay? <clears throat> In addition, 24 hours before the test, limit yourself to eight, eight ounce glasses of water only, okay? <clears throat> so, not to, uh, the intake, <clears throat> and not necessarily water, just fluid intake in general. So no more than 64 ounces of fluid, 24 hours. Again, we want to fast eight hours before both the urine as well as the blood, very important. And then, um, as we said, the rest of this, just follow these instructions if you have any questions. Lastly, as we said, once you fill up these tubes with the urine, make sure you shake them for about 30 seconds, then put them into the freezer. So, once you have completed all of that, what you'll do is you can put all of this back into the box. So this will be in the freezer, and you will take now all of these blood tubes that you'll need, and you're gonna put all of this into the box along with these guys. And you can then close up the styrofoam box. <clears throat> and now we're gonna go over what's inside of this cardboard box here. Okay, what you need for the NutraVal plasma, we are not, unless you've been instructed, we will not be doing any mouth swab for genetic testing. So all you're going to find is um, just a um, confirmation that you filled out the test kits properly. Okay, <clears throat> and you're going to find a couple other things in here. You're also going to find that is all that you need with that. And then all you're going to find else is a the um, shipping instructions, but again, once you bring it to the lab, they will be able to dispose and not dispose, ship this out for you. So here's a prepaid FedEx shipping label. You will take this and put this right here. So again, this is peelable. You can peel this off, put this on the shipping label right here. Again, the lab will do this for you. And then the only other thing that you need is the 
um, requisition form. So we're gonna actually put this in the back the way that came. Okay, and the last thing that you're gonna have is this requisition form. Now, on the requisition form, I will obviously go over, we will go over this with you prior. Everything will be checked that needs to be checked for you. All you need to do is fill in your information. So everything that you'll need will be checked. You just need to fill in your, the previous on the backside patient information section. And the rest of this will be explained to you and in detail going over with you. So that is it. You really only need to worry about and do one portion of the test, one half of the test, which is the urine at home. That is how you complete the NutraVal um, test from the urine and plasma test from Genova Diagnostics. Um, great test, phenomenal test. Gives us a lot of really pertinent information related to the overall um, function of the body. So again, I'm Dr. Anthony Crofassi. I hope this video helped you a little bit and have a great day.